so good, as you can see from my large, pearly white, chiclet smile, that it feels so good to say good morning and hello to you guys. But hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and it just feels so, so good to be chatting with all of you and vlogging again. I know that I was gone for a few weeks, which we are gonna talk about all of that today. Um, but good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, subscribe, hang out. We have a lot of fun here on this little corner of the internet. We celebrate life's little and big moments, and that's very important. So, today, I walked to Starbucks with Corey and grabbed myself an iced chai with two pumps of pumpkin. This is my fall drink. I do like a pumpkin spice latte, but I don't normally drink that until it gets a little bit chillier, and in Boston, it's not super cold yet. It's still 75 to 85, so it's not it's not at that level of needing a hot drink. And I'm just gonna give you all a little bit of a life update. So. Welcome, let's have a life update. So the last time I got to hang out with all of you guys was in August when Corey and I went to my family's campground for the weekend and we vlogged the entire weekend. And that was in like the middle of August, like first, if not, I think it was the second weekend of August. That was the last time I picked up the camera and I had so many amazing fall videos and summer videos and vacation videos and things that I wanted to film for all of you and sometimes life just throws you curveballs and the last three weeks of life have just been curveball after curveball after curveball so i had intentions on vlogging our entire vacation we went to rhode island with corey's family at the end of august and basically to make a long story short uh, Corey ended up on the first day of our vacation pulling a muscle in his leg, so he was limping around all vacation. Then it rained for three of our five days of a beach vacation. Then on top of that, on our last day at the beach on Wednesday, a bird shit in Corey's eye. So Corey got conjunctivitis and we were in and out of the ER, or not the ER, but urgent care for probably three days. And then he got eye drops, we had a friend's wedding during vacation, then the following week, I was excited. My work ended up getting crazy and we did like a work offsite for about three days. So I came in, worked one day, and then for three days, I was literally out, out in the city doing stuff with work. To which then Thursday night, I got a call that from my mom saying that my grandmother had fallen. So we drove all the way to Connecticut on Friday. So didn't work Friday, I had a lot of things planned and just couldn't end up making it to fruition. So spent Saturday and Sunday in the hospital with my sweet grandmother and um, that's where the next piece comes in, which my, and I'm probably gonna cry again, but that's okay because we're real and authentic over here and we're navigating, but um, my sweet little nons passed away. So, um, we were in Connecticut supporting my family and spending time with my dad's side of the family. So we're navigating a grief journey as well, which, you know, it's it's hard, especially when you're close with your grandparents. And I was really, really grateful and really, really blessed to have had them for 25 years of my life. And it doesn't make it any better. You know, grief is still shit. Death is still shit and it hurts. And as much as I am so happy that they are reunited, I am very sad that they are no longer here. So cheers to that. We're navigating grief and crying at whatever time it is in the morning, you know, just keeping it real over here, 8.40 in the morning. But you know what? We're starting the day and it's gonna be a good one. So, so that's a little bit of an update of what's been going on. We had a week of vacation. It was a little bit hectic. So I didn't end up getting to vlog and hang out with all of you. And then I had a lot of crazy stuff come up. Been navigating, spending time with family, trying to get back into the swing of things with work, spending time with all of you, getting ourselves ready because we leave for Disney next Friday, which is so exciting. But it's just, there's a lot of things that are still going on. So good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today is September 13th and there is a lot of fun things to be coming on the channel for the rest of this month. So stick around, we have a lot of fun things planned, which I'm so excited about, but just wanted to give you all a little bit of a life update. I know that I have not been around in a few weeks and I miss all of you. I had a few of you message me on Instagram asking me if I was okay because I haven't posted on Instagram in over a month and a half. So that was just 
like so sweet and so lovely it's really sweet and it brought so much warmth to my heart and i even had a few of you comment on old youtube videos and say like where are you miss you you know and so that was really sweet but if you're ever looking for a little bit more real-time updates this is just a plug to follow my instagram because i'm a little bit more active on there in real-time updates sometimes it's harder to get in front of the camera sometimes cheers to a beautiful i think i said happy monday and today is definitely tuesday but such is life because that's how life is going today. Gonna spend the day together. I have a lot of things to get done around the house today. Just being productive, cleaning. We've literally been away from this apartment for close to what feels like three weeks. Sleeping in my bed last night was a godsend. It was, it was like, I'll never take my bed and my pillows for granted ever again. It was just, it was so great to be back in our own bed. So now it is about 8.45, I am going to get ready to sit down at my desk for the day. And today's just gonna be a productive, getting our life back on track. We're cooking a really nice, delicious home-cooked meal tonight, so we'll just be kind of hanging out and chilling, but happy, happy Tuesday, because it is not Monday, and I will check in with you guys later. I also forgot to mention before, but today is like the perfect gloomy-ish, rainy, overcasty kind of day, so I get to have on all of our Luminara candles. Another thing that I want to show you guys is the amount of packages that came in the mail for me and Corey while we were gone. So I guess I cope with online shopping because I have this, this, two of these, and then all of this in here. And then I have three more packages that are supposed to be delivered today. So it is a full package blown thing. She also wanted to show you how fantastic I am. Good morning. And Corey is absolutely fantastic. Corey has been so, so incredible. I can't even begin to articulate how absolutely amazing Corey has been through navigating the loss of my grandmother. He was just absolutely incredible, amazing, so thoughtful, and did so many things to make me so, 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 so happy. And yeah, so just another quick little few things to say this morning, but now I need to get to work. Hi, we're in the car and we are actually at Trader Joe's because I need to grocery shop on my lunch break because we have literally no groceries because like I said before, we've barely been home for weeks. So we are gonna go and grocery shop in Trader Joe's together. I am going to bring you all along on my phone just in there and then I'll do a full kind of grocery haul once we get home. Work's been a little busy today. I do have a really busy like after noon-ish. There's just a lot going on. I was out all last week for the funeral and the wake and just being with family so I didn't have the opportunity to work so everything from last week got pushed to this week on top of everything I already had so it's just a crazy week but let's go into Trader Joe's and grab some groceries for the rest of the week. back from Trader Joe's and you know that means a Trader Joe's haul. So everything that I bought was $97. This is to get us through the rest of this week. Also very fun and exciting. We are starting HelloFresh, not sponsored, just we wanted to start it. We used to do it in our first apartment and then we did it in Connecticut when we moved to my mom's for a little while and we enjoyed it. We've been in a little bit of a rut, I think, with cooking. Just also with Disney coming up, it's really easy to like not have to grocery shop for dinners, but take stuff out of the freezer and do really easy lunches. So we're gonna be trying HelloFresh for the remainder of this week. So a lot of this is for dinner tonight, my lunch for the week, Corey's lunch for the week, and then just extras. So let me show you what I got. Alrighty, so here we go. $97, everything from Trader Joe's. So to start, chunky guacamole. I get Corey the one that's made with Greek yogurt because he's on a diet and just likes to make some conscious decisions. So this is made with Greek yogurt, so 60% less fat and 50% less calories. So he gets that for his wraps. And then I got Corey just grilled chicken breast. Normally I would buy it either on a rotisserie chicken, but Trader Joe's doesn't do that, so we just did this. 
roasted garlic hummus for myself, bacon for Corey's wraps. I am doing ground turkey lettuce wraps this week, so I got some ground turkey for myself. Some pita crackers for some snacks, which I'll show you in a little bit. Some blueberries, avocados for my lunch. We were almost out of minced garlic. I always buy it from Trader Joe's. It's $1.99 for this like really large jar. So we always get the Trader Joe's minced garlic. And then I got a red onion. This is also for those pita crackers for like a quick lunch with the crackers and some hummus and veggies. So got the peppered salami and extra sharp cabot cheese. Then Trader Joe's does have amazing candles. I don't know if you all saw my last vlog, but they just always have good candles if it would focus. Yep, there we go. Honey crisp apple. So got two of those. And then I got a can of pumpkin puree to also use with the heavy whipping cream to make homemade pumpkin cold foam we'll see how that goes string cheese for Corey two little mini pumpkins because why not limes for my lunch Corey's low carb wraps cilantro for my lettuce wraps lettuce for my lettuce wraps and then I also got Corey some spring mix that he puts inside of his lunch wraps some prosciutto for myself as well to go with that salami and then Corey does low carb and we love the smashed cauliflower from Trader Joe's it's amazing fresh green beans we're doing green beans and steak and just a really delicious warm cozy home cooked meal tonight some honey o's I actually like these better than the honey nut cheerios because they're bigger and they're a little fluffier so I enjoy those with again the blueberries over there and then I also just get whole milk I'm a whole milk kind of gal if I'm not almond milk and then this really pretty bouquet of flowers because buy yourself flowers and they're fall and they're pretty so this is everything from Trader Joe's for lunches and snacks for the week so Next on the agenda is, it is 12.49, so I need to get myself back to my desk because I have a meeting at one, so I used my lunch hour today to grocery shop. I just wanted to grocery shop during lunch today and not after work because I really wanna get back into a routine, feel productive. There's a lot of things that we need to do today, so I just feel like I'm excited to get it done and be ready for it to be done because this is our suitcase that we've been living out of for what feels like an eternity. This is a productive, getting my life together, kind of vlog, day in our life. Checking in, it is 3.15. I have been in meetings from one to three, so I didn't get a chance to eat lunch or figure out what I wanted to do for lunch. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna have a little bit of like a meat cheese-ish kind of plate. I'm just gonna put a few things in stuff on a plate and just have it because we're gonna probably eat dinner a little bit earlier tonight anyway around 5 30 6 o'clock all right little hodgepodge lunch here not really more of like a snack plate but i have peppered salami cabot white cheddar cheese some crackers and then some of this sweet and salty coconut oil like kettle popcorn and then right now it is 319 so 320 so i have about 10 minutes before my next meeting so i'm just gonna go in bring my little snack plate and probably just like click around on my phone for 10 minutes because i do have meetings from 3 30 to 5 so i just wanted to get a little something let my brain kind of r and r and then we'll check in with you at the end of the work day hello again the work day is over it is 5'11", I am exhausted. I feel like I had such a busy day, I'm hungry, Corey didn't really eat lunch, I ate that little snack plate and I just feel like there's just still stuff to be done. Is that adulting? Because if it is, I don't want to do it. But no, so Corey is gonna make steak tonight and I'm probably gonna ask him if we can eat it on the couch, which I don't always do, I only do that once in a while, but tonight it's feeling like couch dinner you know what i mean are you a couch comment down below are you someone that when you have a long day that you just want to be on the couch and eat your dinner or are you only a dinner table we're like 90 percent of the time dinner table 10 percent of the time dinner couch would love to know comment down below there is a lot that needs to still get done tonight Corey's probably gonna work for the next i want to say like half it half hour ish he'll probably be done around like 5 30 5 45 but this massive luggage needs to get put away. So to help Corey and myself, I'm gonna go bring this luggage into our bedroom and unpack the entire thing. That way we can actually put the luggage away, even though we're gonna take it out in two weeks because we're going to Disney next Friday, but the luggage needs to get unpacked. And then 
I am gonna be doing a rest of the week in my life and all of these packages plus all of those packages on the other side are getting unboxed tomorrow. So make sure to stick around because there's a lot of packages from online shopping that I need to unbox, but I'm waiting for a few more. So we're gonna do that over the next few days in my next weekly vlog that I'm gonna start tomorrow. But let's get productive, get back into a routine and unpack all these clothes. changed into my PJs because I just didn't want to be in my little like sweat thing anymore so I have on Corey's long sleeve shirt and my little PJ shorts and Corey is in the kitchen right now making steak mashed potatoes and green beans which is like one of the first home cooked meals we've had in a really long time and for the rest of the night we're really just relaxing. I put away that suitcase, everything is organized ish in the closet the luggage is put away so that makes me feel really good i even put my carry-on back inside of it i've started to closet clean out of my fall stuff so that is 100 percent incredible ultimately i feel like we're getting back into a little bit of a routine a little spenny and Corey. but we are watching the office and like i said before we're having couch dinner Corey made homemade butter steak mashed potatoes and green beans and it looks so good like i said i cannot wait for a home cooked meal you probably can hear the office in the back we finished dinner we watched some of the office it's now definitely a little bit darker out but it is podcast time okay. so we are recording the podcast and we always put on like the walt disney world resort channel in the background when we record the disney podcast because i feel like it just gets us a little bit more in the mood so we're doing that Right now, we're gonna record. Yeah, this week's episode is 10 things that we love about Hollywood Studios. When this YouTube video goes live, the podcast episode will also already be live. This so. version's at night. Oh, that's cool. So Corey just turned on the resort channel, but it's an at night version. <sighs> That's pretty that. cool. Love that. So now we are going to record the podcast and then we have a few more things to do tonight before we go to bed to get ourselves back into a routine and ultimately feeling productive and ready for the rest of the week. And just like that, the podcast episode's recorded. And it was so fun. It was fun. It was a really good episode. I feel like we were really conversational and like really chatty in mm. this one. So I feel like that's what- we're not what... conversational or chatty in real life anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's that, but I just feel like this episode we were like playing off each other a little bit more. We were making eye contact. It felt like we were just socializing rather than when sometimes we're actually well, doing like the full thing. Well, I'll also be honest, I don't know if, if I like kicked into like second gear or something because of the topic that we chatted about. It was one thing I was like very excited to talk about. So you like enjoyed it. So I enjoyed it a lot. Yes. Yeah. Podcast is done. It's going up tomorrow, which is very <laughs> exciting. And now we're just trying to get like this whole entire vlog is just trying to get us into a routine. We're gonna go into the office and our office, I'll show you, is just like a mess right now because we have been gone, our luggages are out because we're using them in the next week and a half. We have stuff everywhere. I have bags of decorations that need to get put out. Your fall clothes are out. I went through my fall clothes because when we come back from Disney in Boston, it's gonna be like basically winter. Do so I know what's honestly funny? What? The office does not bother me at all. Oh my god. But see, like anything, but the thing is, is we have to like work in there tomorrow and I'm not gonna feel focused. Oh, no, I understand. So I want to use today to like get us productive. So yeah. I am gonna show you all the office that doesn't seem to bother Corey. And when I look in this office, it literally gives me a headache. Here's the office. It does not look that bad because I did stuff today. This is all. Decorations from last year, candles and new decorations, which yes, we're gonna decorate for fall in my weekly vlog that I'm starting tomorrow after I close out this one. This is just extra photos. And then everything over here is like brand new bins to organize our fall stuff. This is all Corey's fall clothes, his computer that needs to go back to his company that he works for, and just like all of this stuff. And then the closet, that's what I did today was I went through all my stuff, got a donation pile, shoes, like beach towel. So it's just like, it's hard to work in here when there's just like a lot going on. So we are gonna spend the next probably 20-ish minutes organizing. 40 minutes later, the office is clean. It's beautiful, it's vacuumed, it's dusted, it is ready. It's ready to be shown. So 
let me show you the office. Here is the office now versus what it looked like before. So this has to stay because this is all fall decorations that I'm gonna put out anyway, so it doesn't really make sense to put them somewhere if they end up gonna come out of the bags in two or three days anyway. This is our drying rack, which we're using tomorrow, so I left that out. Corey's extra desk chair, because you all know that he sits on that little stool. I vacuumed all over here, cleaned up our desk, cleaned up this area. And then if you turn to our little like book library nook area in the office, so clean, so, so, so much better. There's nothing on the floor anymore. So I took everything and absolutely gutted it. And then in this closet was a nightmare, but it is now all clean and so so organized so everything up here is like beach towels extra set of sheets all of our board games Corey's golf simulator and just everything is organized here and then this is like a game changer four bins of our winter clothes winter shoes and boots then there's some travel stuff up here an extra pillow our air mattress and then two empty bins this before was like so 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 bad and just like that I feel so much better. I feel like I can take on the day. I feel like today was such a productive day. We organized, we cleaned, we had a home cooked meal, we had a full day of work, grocery store. Like it was just a full good day of getting back into a routine and getting myself organized. Thanks so much for sticking around and hanging out for the day. It was so, so good to be back vlogging again, but I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.